Welcome to Smoky CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and today we're going to do a school mascot. So I live in a town called Sulphur. I believe I've mentioned most of this before, and the mascot here is the Bulldogs. We're just about 10 miles to the west of us in the little town of Davis, Oklahoma, and their mascot is the Wolves. To my knowledge, I've only done one wolf mascot for them, and I've been keeping an eye out for just a piece of clip art that would be cool for their logo. They have an official one, so this is going to be an unofficial logo, but, uh, you know, if it, cool, it cuts out cool and somebody wants it from over there, great. If not, great. If it cuts like it looks, it ought to look awesome. So that's what we're going to do today, is we're going to do a wolf head. So let's go.
I thought it came out cool. This is a lot meaner than what their wolf looks. This has a lot more detail than their wolf has in it. And I just thought it came out awesome. The reason I went with black, their colors are actually red and white, and I almost did it in red. But I thought, like I said in the intro, what if nobody wants to buy it? So if nobody buys it, then I'm stuck with a red wolf. If I paint it black and they buy it, great. If they don't, I'll be able to take it to trade shows. And that's what I do with a lot of the stuff that I make that I don't sell. I just stockpile it because when we actually get to making trade shows again or craft shows, whatever you like to call them, a lot of that stuff goes quick. Just the little odds and ends like that, they just fly off the shelf. So I want as much of it as I can possibly have. So as you saw on this one, it, the board's a lot bigger. So here's a little truth. This board was already cut to this size. I had cut it for something else and I noticed it had two holes in it right here. So what I'm gonna do is just trim this up on the table saw later and uh, just make it a nice little piece. So that was the wolf. I mean, I know it wasn't just an astounding one, but you know, it, it came out cool and it's something local for us here. I'll be able to put up my wife's shop or her booth at a shop too. I sell there, who knows? Cause right now that's where old Frankenstein from the last video is sitting. So guys, that's gonna be about it for this one. If y'all haven't done so yet, please subscribe and I'll see y'all next time.